All right, people, what's up, everyone, and welcome to another video, and I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, E3 2019 is coming up very soon, in a couple days, actually, technically, well, actually, technically, it doesn't start until Tuesday, but it really starts on Sunday with Microsoft. Uh, tomorrow, we'll, you'll have EA Play, but, you know, that's, that's not going to be anything extraordinary, I don't think. So, uh, really, Sunday is the beginning, with Microsoft, Bethesda, Devolver, and after that, Square Enix, uh... Um, what else? Uh, Ubisoft. There's just something else there. And then Nintendo, of course. Um, so I'm, I want to do something that's going to be kind of like a before and after thing. Before E3 2019, after all the games are shown off, surprise games, new gameplay, release dates and stuff for games that we already know. Um, what is my most anticipated stuff for the rest of this year? And I have a word file here that has all the games that I would consider my top 10 most anticipated games, and I also have an honorable mentions list. What I want to do is kind of do a top 10 like most anticipated of the year and the 10 that just didn't quite make the top 10. So I guess we're kind of doing a top 20, but one's going to be honorable mentions. The other one's going to be just straight up the most anticipated. So I thought it would be kind of fun to do this. I'm doing this like really just out of nowhere <laughs> not gonna lie just really straight up out of nowhere um so i have it here you see my mouse i left the mouse there um let's move this over a little bit just a little bit there you go yeah, yeah man, that's uh, good maybe even make it bigger make it bigger gore all right thanks gore oh that's perfect right there i'll just have my head like no here just move it over all right all right there okay i could probably make this font bigger too but i'm sure everybody could see this yeah everybody could see that. that's fine all right so here's my list okay here, maybe I should label it. This is most anticipated. I think it's 2019. Don't really need to write that down. I'm not confused. Uh, I don't really use WordPad too much. I only opened it because it was the, you know, I just put JHM for honorable mentions. All right, so let's just go through my most anticipated right now. But this is not in top 10 order. We're going to figure that out in this video okay so i'm going to kind of like deliberate myself all right so most anticipated right now is bloodstained of course which comes out next week or two weeks actually uh, mario maker 2 which comes out in like three weeks control which comes out august shenmue 3 which just got delayed it was supposed to come out i think the same day as control or like really close to control now it's coming out in november which is fine uh borderlands 3 september star wars in november death stranding in november <laughs> a lot of november doom eternal now, this hasn't technically been confirmed for 2019, but most likely it's going to be 2019. Same for the next game, which is Gears 5, and actually the same thing for Link's Awakening. Um, but Doom Eternal is definitely going to be this year, I have a feeling. Same thing for Gears 5. Link's Awakening, I can see them posting uh, postponing that until 2020, but they did say it was coming out this year. I could see Nintendo, because they've done that plenty of times where they said, oh, this game's coming out, what? you know, like, like Fire Emblem Three Houses. They said, oh, that game's coming out in uh what what did they say spring and that shit ain't coming out until uh, july so they could do that again where it's like early 2020 like february or something like that uh, but i'm gonna put it there too because most likely it will be 2019 so anyway that's my 10 it's not in top 10 order that's just my 10 here's my honorable mentions i think this is more than 10 actually or maybe not quite 10 i'm not exactly sure i didn't really count this because I, I wasn't actually planning on making a 10 all right so this is nine can i think of one other game Oh, I got another game. Um, uh, Ultimate Alliance. Oh, misspelled Ultimate. Ultimate Alliance 3. There you go. All right, so there's my 10. All right, so honorable mentions in no particular order. Samurai Showdown, Wolfenstein, Young Blood, Fire Emblem Three Houses, Cadence of Hyrule, which is supposed to come out this month. We'll see. Uh, the Outer Worlds, which is that new uh, game from Obsidian. The guys that made Fallout, New Vegas, and uh, KOTOR 2, and... South Park, The Stick of Truth, uh, Modern Warfare, of course, the brand new one, 13, which is a classic game, I almost put this in my top 10, I'm not even going to lie, a game I used to play all the time with my friends, uh, Cell Shaded game, based on a comic book, great game, uh, Astral Chain, which is, of course, the new Platinum game, uh, Psychonauts 2, which is the new Psychonauts, I, the only reason why I didn't put that in my top 10 is because we haven't really seen too much of it, and uh, I don't know if it's going to be 2019, and Ultimate Alliance 3, which comes out in July, um... All right, so let's do uh, let's do most anticipated. Actually, no, let's do honorable mentions. I think that makes sense to, to do first. Uh, here, let me make it bigger and then and then like scale this 
for actually you know what make it bigger just make the font bigger here you go hold on, hold on. technical issues technical issues hold on give me a, give me a second give me a, no stop stop fucking me all right hold on <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm trying to do there you go. Alright. And uh make the font bigger. Here you go. How do I do that? I don't really use here you go. Well first of all, ew, ca calibri calibri? What's going on? I can't click anything. Oh, great. That's why I don't use WordPad right there, folks. Can't even handle a bunch of words. Call WordPad, can't handle it. Okay. Let's uh let's do impact. I always like it. Okay. Thank you. Impact, thank you. There you go. Look at that. It's not the best looking font, but it's bold and it's nice. No, let's make it. Let's make it 14. No, let's make it 16. I think 16 would be good. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, let's get to it. All right, honorable mentions. Uh, Samurai Showdown, Wolfenstein, which I almost put in my top 10, but it's a $30 little game, so I was like, okay, this is gonna be more of the same. I love Wolfenstein one and two, one of my two of my favorite games of each of the years they came out. 2014, 2017. Um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Let me put Three Houses. Uh, Games of Hyrule. Eh. Okay, so what would be number 10? I'm not going to lie. My number 10, which means it, I guess my number 20. So I'll put 20 just to make it not confusing. Uh, my number 20 would probably be... Ooh, Ultimate Alliance. It has to be, right? Because I didn't put it originally. So my number 20 is Ultimate Alliance, which is perfect. So now I could just do this right here. Um, all right. Uh, my number 19 would probably be, you know what? I'm going to put, I'm going to, all right. This is probably going to upset some people out there. I, I think I might put, let me move my phone. I, I we'll just throw it over there. Fuck it. Um, I'm going to put Psychonauts cause I don't know if it's coming out this year. I'm not that hyped right now because they haven't really been doing a good job of trying to hype people up for that. I can't wait cause I love the first game, but, um, I'm not too hyped right now. So that's not, that's not my fault. I don't think that's my fault for not being hyped. Um, all right, 18. I'm going to say Astral Chain because we haven't seen too much of that game. Also, it only got announced a couple of months ago, and it's coming out soon, like two months. So I'm a wor I'm, I'm a worried. I'm a worried <laughs> that it's going to be kind of like their, one of their lesser games. might be great, though. Who knows? So I'm going to put that as number 18. Number 17... I think I'm going to put Cadence of Hyrule only because I didn't play too much of the Curse of the Necrodancer. Um, I know it's great. Is that, is that what it's called? Curse of the Necrodancer? I know it's great, but I didn't play too much of it. I played a little bit on Xbox. It was fun. I just didn't play too much of it. So I'm not too in, like, I'm not really into that series. Uh, I'm going to put Samurai Showdown next only because I'm not really that big of a 2D guy. But I, everything I've seen of that game so far has really impressed me. Now I'm going to put probably Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare. Um, not the biggest COD fan, but I do really like that trailer. And I'm actually more interested in it from all the previews I've heard where it seems like it's taken it much more seriously. You're not just like going in, busting through doors and killing hundreds of people. At least that's what the previews that I've heard have said. Because I haven't seen any gameplay. Because uh, there's uh, not much out right now. I'm going to put 13... Let me explain my love for 13. 13 is a cell shaded game based on a comic book. It had a multiplayer mode that was amazing. You could play with all these bots. Um, me and my friend we used to play with bots all the time. We would hang out. There's one map where you just hang out in a vent. And we, we would go in the vent. And I'd be on one side of the vent. Like halfway through the vent. Um, and my friend would be on the other side. So we'd be like back to back just waiting for people to show up. And they would always find the vent because the AI was actually pretty smart uh and the AI was tough as shit it was always fun we used to play that game all the time um so that's I'm really excited for that hopefully the multiplayer is good if there is multiplayer oh now this is hard because the Outer Worlds I'm really looking forward to almost made my top 10 also but all these other ones made almost made my top 10 uh, including 13 I'm gonna say Fire Emblem only because only because I'm not the biggest strategy fan. I love Fire Emblem, though. If there's any strategy games I like, it's Fire Emblem. But I'm not, still not the biggest fan. I'm going to say Wolfenstein 12 only because it's a, it's a $30 game. It's just a little bonus thing. And then I'll put The Outer Worlds as, as my number 11. Because The Outer Worlds looks freaking amazing. All right. So we got the honorable mentions out of the way. Now, let's do the top 10. <sighs> Okay, so let me write 10. This is going to be hard. This is going to be hard. This is going to be tough. 
It's going to be tough. Okay. I'm going to put Bloodstained first, only because it's coming out very soon. And while I do like the way it looks now, I'm still a little worried about it. Just a little bit. All right. Number nine. Should I put... Uh, would that look better? No. That looks stupid. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Now it's going to get hard. I am really close to putting Mario Maker 2. You know what? I am. I feel like Mario Maker 2 let me down with that whole you can't play with friends thing. I'm still looking forward to it, obviously. It's number nine, but it let me down a little bit. Or a lot, actually, here. I actually just get rid of that now. Um, I should just do this to begin with. But just to make it easier on me, I put the 10 that I knew would be in the top 10. And then, yeah. Um, all right. So I think Gears 5 will be next. But that trailer from last year was so fucking good. I think we'll put Shenmue. I'm going to put Shenmue. Because that one I'm worried about. I am very much worried about. Uh, and I and I have a feeling it's going to get postponed again. To like sometime in 2020. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Next I think I'm going to put Borderlands. I'm going to put Borderlands. Thinking about it. I, I'm actually a little bit more excited for Gears. Number 6 though is Gears. I'll just put that right now. Gears 5. That one, I think I'm actually gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with. Now we're in the top five. Okay, that's actually this was actually much easier than I thought it would be. Now this is where it's gonna get tough. <sighs> okay, I'll tell you right now. I think I know exactly what my number one is. I have no idea what my number two will be though, because <laughs> there's like three mo There's three games here that could easily be my number two. I'll tell you right here. Number five though is Star Wars. I think I feel good for that because I'm still a little worried. Tomorrow, though, we'll be seeing new uh, gameplay. So that's why I kind of want to do this before the EA one because that Star Wars one might actually really impress me or might not impress me at all. Uh, it is Respawn, and they have made every every game they've made has really made me go, wow, these guys are great. <laughs> they know how to make a first-person shooter. Um, so I'm excited for it. Obviously, it's in my top five. <sighs> all right. Don't hate me. Please don't. Because Control looks amazing. I'm very excited for Control. And I'm also very excited for Link's Awakening. But, hear me out. Link's Awakening, while it's going to be a brand new game, it will be, it's still a game I've played before. It's going to have new stuff. It's going to look new. It's probably going to be a lot new. I would say probably like, at least half that game's going to be brand new. I'm assuming. That's just me assuming. But it's still a game I've played before, and Control looks like it's going to be amazing. So I'm going to put that, and number three is going to be Control. Straight up. People are going to hate. Number two, though. See, now I'm thinking about it. I'm, I don't know if I'm too sure what my number one is. <laughs> I'm actually not too sure. I said earlier, I'm sure which one it is, but now I'm not. It's the Battle of the Ds, though. Get these out of here. Let me put it right here so you can see. Oh, Death Stranding or Doom Eternal? I love Doom. I have a Doom thing right there given to me by Lady Foxfire. Go check her out on YouTube. Um, I don't have any Death Stranding stuff in the background. Got, got to think about that. Doom Eternal has the Doom name. But Death Stranding has that Hideo Kojima. That eight minute trailer they showed a couple days ago or like a week ago. Fantastic. I'm so hyped for it now. And it comes out soon. We know it's coming out this year. It's probably not going to get postponed. Fuck, but Doom. Dude, every time I think about that 30 minutes of gameplay they showed at QuakeCon, all the grappling around and stuff, just jumping in there and grappling. You, you could stay in the air for most of the time you're fighting any of the big arena bosses or whatever. Or bit, not arena bosses, but big arena hordes or whatever. God, it looks so good. Oh my god. See, this is harder. because Alright, this the, the one... I'm going to say this. I think I'm going to make Doom Eternal number two only because we're going to see more of Doom Eternal very soon. During Bethesda. I don't think we're going to see anything more of Death Stranding at... E3. So, Doom Eternal has been holding out since QuakeCon to show more stuff, where Death Stranding already showed its hand 
early, you know, a week ago. So it already showed what it's going to show, most likely. So right now, I'm going to say, and this is most likely going to change, I'm going to say Doom Eternal is number two, and Death Stranding is number one. I'm really, really interested in Death Stranding. Very interested. All right, so let's go through my top 20, I guess. <laughs> number 20 to 11, of course, are honorable mentions. Number 20, Ultimate Alliance 3. Number 19, Psychonauts 2. 18, Astral Chain. 17, Cadence of Hyrule. 16, Samurai Showdown. Uh, 15, Modern Warfare, the new one. 14 is 13, the remake. I should mention that it's a remake. Uh, 13, Fire Emblem 3 Houses. 12, Wolfenstein Young Blood. And number 11 is The Outer Worlds. Now, my top 10. See, can I, can I, all right, it's fun. Number 10 is Bloodstained. Comes out in a couple weeks. So I'm excited. Number 9, Mario Maker 2. Number 8, Shenmue 3. Uh, number 7, Borderlands 3. Uh, number 6, Gears 5. Number 5, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Number four, Link's Awakening, Zelda, of course, uh, Legend of Zelda. Uh, number three, Control. Number two, Doom Eternal. And number one, Death Stranding. And that's all games that I, I believe are confirmed for this year. Uh, now, I've seen some games that I was almost going to put on my list. Like, let me see what those games are. I have my Wikipedia right here because I was, I was using Wikipedia. So if I, I miss something, then I apologize. But there's a couple of things here. Like Ori and the Will of the Wisp, I don't know if that's coming out this year. And I have a feeling it might not be coming out this year. Uh, so I didn't put it on here because we, we've been seeing that game for the last couple of years. It could come out this year. There is a possibility. And that's why I wanted to make this before E3. Luigi's Mansion 3, that's another game. Uh, that would probably be in my honorable mentions if I do think it's coming out this year. I think they said it's coming out this year, but who knows? Again, like I said, <laughs> Nintendo is a little wacky with that stuff. Um... Uh, there's a couple other games, but for the most part, Damon X Machina, that looks pretty cool. Co Code Vein looks pretty cool. Battletoads, the new Battletoads game, hell yeah. But uh, I wanted to do this before E3, so after E3, I could show you exactly what I'm looking forward to for the rest of this year. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. I thought it was fun. And uh, there you go. Thank you. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Uh, and tell me what your most anticipated games are before E3 of 2019. Thank you. Until next time, I'll see you later. Goodbye.